that something like seeing some of the preseason rankings? I mean, you said you didn't see them, but now knowing, is that something that proves at all? Or? I mean, obviously, there's no um, way we're up. Obviously, we can't go any lower. So I give it. It gives us a lot of motivation because our team knows who we are. Um, and being a new team, a new coaching staff, I think we're going to come together and surprise a lot of people. Angel, is there anything specifically in your rookie year that you're just really looking forward to as it's about to get started? Um, just being able to just play and being able to have the opportunity. A lot of people don't have this opportunity. Um, there's only 144 players in the league, and luckily I'm one of them. And just being able to just not take it for granted, I'm just happy to be in the position. I think being in Chicago was the perfect place for me with this coaching staff, with this team, this environment, this culture. I feel like I have everything I need here. So I'm just excited to be here. Um, I want to get better every day and just learn. You were saying that you guys are kind of like two peas in a pod. What, what <laughs> yeah. have you gained from that relationship so far? Yeah, me and Kennedy, I mean, we're both just very energetic. We like, we like flashy. Um, me and her boost each other's energy, and just being able to see what Kennedy has done in college. I've watched her in college. One of our coaches, my coach at LSU, Coach Bob Starkey, was her coach as well at Texas A&M. So being able to have somebody that is always fun, and also just being able to come in with a boost of energy all the time, is both is something that we bring. Is there something about, has she taught you anything, or kind of, coach kind of set the example for you, or have you um, gone to her for any advice? One thing about her, she always goes hard. I can say that, and then she makes me want to go hard all the time. Like, even coming as a rookie, like, I always want to, I never want to take a play off because I know when Kennedy come in, like, she's a boost of energy. She's going to give me the ball. I'm going to give her the ball. She tells me, like, where to set the screens. And she's been a great vet. All of the girls have been a great, great vets for me. So, especially Kennedy, like, everything that she's been through her career. And I kind of see, like, we see each other because a lot of people have perspectives of what, she, what she's like. A lot of people have perspectives of, like, what I'm like. But just being able to just come in and just work with each other and then prove everybody wrong is something I look forward to. Yeah, <laughs> it's great being able to finish college. Um, I'm just happy to now just being able to focus on basketball and just obviously just being the present and just focus on being here. Just being able to be free. I mean, I love being free here. I love being able to be, I'm an adult. Like, I don't have to do certain things that I had to do in college. Like, when I go home, I'm like, what's next? Like, in college, I had, like, teamwork, and we knew what was next on the schedule. Pre-game meal, I'm on my own now. I'm like, where are we going to eat? Everybody, like, everybody doing their own thing. So, <laughs> I'm kind of learning that um, on the fly. So, I do miss, like, kind of being able to be constructed within a, with a schedule, but I kind of also like having my freedom, like, I'm, I'm going to get eat, eat by myself. I work with teammates sometimes too, so I'm learning that too. Apologies, I, I popped away for just a second, but is there any matchup in this in this league that you're especially looking forward to? Any bets that you? I mean, we saw you go up against JJ. Do I don't know. Match? I've always looked forward to going against like stretch stretch four, stretch five. I've always watched these players: JJ, Stewie, Asia. Um, Candace is not playing anymore. I always look forward to playing against Candace. So there's so many great stretch four players that I've watched all my life, even when they were in college. So I'm just looking forward to seeing myself playing against them, but just them playing against me as well. You still waiting for all your stuff? Oh no, I'm here. Hey, I'm moved. I'm moved. I'm moved in pretty much. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much moved and got all my stuff here now. Have you changed your food taste while you're here? <laughs> No, I've been eating so many good places. Um, what was it? I went the other day to Joe Willie's. That was like a seafood place. I really liked that. Um, it was good. So I'm going to so many different places. I have a lot of friends here in Chicago, so they've been telling me so many different places to go. Um, of course, the girls have been telling me different places. So we love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> they recognize me everywhere, for sure. Um, I'm getting used to it, being able to be out and just being able to not really walk down the street. Um, because I, in college, I mean, it's a college town. I really didn't go out much, but now I'm like more in the open, more in the city. So I'm kind of getting used to being able to like just not. I'm not. I'm not used to being able to go out and not have, have security now. So now I have to have security kind of wherever I go. Um, just kind of be mindful and careful, obviously, because my safety is first. But being able to be here, Chicago has done a great job making sure that I'm okay. Um, but I love the community here. I love the culture here. Being able to be recognized down the street is pretty cool. Have you seen your billboards yet? Have I seen my billboards? No. I might go down there and see them today. I don't know exactly where they are. I gotta ask my agent, but everybody been posting them and tagging me and stuff, so which is really cool. So I'm gonna go see, um, I'm gonna try to go see today. I know we leave tomorrow, so I'm trying to pack and stuff and get ready for Dallas.
Tail's going to be a few good triplets, but I'm as close as you can get to that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sure my LSU family is going to come down. A lot of them already said that they're going to meet us at the game. Um, I think the game is sold out, maybe. Um, that's what I, I think the game might be sold out. So trying to get tickets is going to be very hard um, for everyone. But being able to see the growth of the game and being able to see so many people want to come and see us, um, 